Okay, let's do an update. So, today we're putting the finishing touches on the sanding. I'm going to take out the samples over here. Once again, these samples are bone and natural seal, ambering finish, and bone and nordic seal. The customer has chosen this, the natural seal. Looks exactly like the sanded wood. Um, okay, so the handrails. The handrails, this is what we would sand if we did the handrails. We would sand this down to raw wood, or maybe not, but pretty typically as we do the post, and then we sand this. Underneath this, there's no practical way of getting that white off. So we sand this, but we leave the white underneath it. All of this top surface would be the, um, I'm guessing it's probably going to be maple because they usually, they usually are. This will be maple. If the customer chooses, we're going to sand this and um, finish it appropriate with the floors, whatever design scheme they may have. Usually it's a little bit darker than the floors, the handrail. All right, another option that is pretty vital for the job is these shoe moldings. Downstairs has shoe moldings and this does not. That's not really desirable, it looks unfinished. All right, so let me tally up the strips that I need. These strips of shoe molding are 16 feet long, so I need one, two, Two pieces to do this room, really a little bit more, but that's fine. By the time I'm done, I'll have a three, four, five, six with the balance finishing that other room. So I'm up to six, uh, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen with the closets, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15, uh, let's say 16. So this area here, what we do with this is, I gotta cut and carve that away. If we do the uh, shoe molding, I gotta cut and carve this away and tape all around it and styrofoam, no, not styrofoam, probably gonna plaster it to the floor. Okay, 16. There's a couple of doorways I got. 16. What other doorways are like that? 16. Yeah, these doorways. So that this transitions all the way to the floor. You put tape around the bottom of it and you uh, plaster around it following the contour and you paint it and that's how you bring that to the floor so it doesn't look like it's just floating in outer space. All right, 16 pieces of molding. Same thing's going on there. 16 pieces of molding. 16 pieces of molding. Let's see what's happening downstairs. Seventeen. 18, interesting round piece here, I'll get a vinyl one, 18 and one vinyl. Which one is it? 18 and one vinyl. This one, natural seal, 18 and one vinyl. Eighteen and one vinyl. Where else do we need shoe molding?
Eh, this is negligible, but still, if we're going to be consistent, 19. All right, 19 strips will definitely be sufficient to get all of that shoe molding. <laughs> 